Samuel is a figure who appears in various mythologies and religious texts, primarily within Jewish traditions. His name can mean venom of God, poison of God, or blindness of God, depending on the interpretation of the Hebrew. Samuel has a complex and multifaceted role in the mythos wherein he appears, and his character has evolved over time. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and comment. In early Jewish writings, Samuel is often considered an angel a member of the divine council with specific duties. He is not initially depicted as evil but rather as a figure carrying out God's will, even when those actions are destructive. Angel of Death In some traditions, Samuel is identified with the Angel of Death. He is responsible for taking the souls of the deceased away from the physical world. Accuser Satan In the Talmud, Samuel is sometimes identified with the Satan, meaning the accuser or the adversary. In this role, he is often depicted as a prosecutor of humans, accusing them of their sins before God. Destroyer he is associated with destruction and is sometimes seen as a leader of a demonic host. He is invoked in texts related to the ten plagues of Egypt and is seen as an agent of divine punishment. Adversarial role in Kabbalah. In Kabbalistic texts, Samuel is a significant figure, often aligned with the Klifith, which are the representation of evil forces. He is sometimes considered the husband or counterpart of Lilith, the first wife of Adam who is also associated with demonic realms. Fallen Angel In some Christian and occult traditions that have drawn from Jewish texts, Samuel is equated with Satan or Lucifer, the fallen angel, though this identification is not present in the original Jewish sources. It is important to underscore that the idea of Samuel has changed considerably over time, and there is no single complete story of him. Different communities and texts offer varied images and narratives. Furthermore, in Judaism, there is not as clear a concept of angels and demons as entities with independent free will in the way that is seen in later Christian interpretations. Much of what is known about Samuel comes from apocryphal texts, Jewish mysticism, folklore, and the interpretations of scholars over the centuries. Because each of these sources often serves different theological and cultural purposes, Samuel S. character can be contradictory and nuanced. He is a powerful example of how a mythic figure can be interpreted in a multitude of ways throughout the history of religious thought.